this is Emerald with Stardust Fiber Studio. I am one of the owners. <laughs> I also do um, awareness videos for Tourette's on TikTok. Well, and I wanted to talk a little bit about. <clears throat> wow! 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 I wanted to talk. A, a TikToker who claimed to have Tourette's syndrome. With her account, Ticks and Roses, Emerald aimed to raise awareness about Tourette's while promoting her yarn dyeing business. However, Doubts began to arise as viewers noticed inconsistencies in her tick behaviors, suspecting that her condition might be fake. The skepticism reached its peak when Reddit users uncovered an old Facebook live stream where Emerald, who supposedly had Tourette's since childhood, didn't exhibit any ticks. This discovery sparked further discussions and debates in the TikTok comments, but Emerald defended herself by stating that her ticks didn't occur all the time and she could make videos without any involuntary outbursts. As the evidence mounted against Emerald, Reddit users found more inconsistencies in her behavior. They discovered videos where she struggled to recite nursery rhymes without ticking, while other clips showed her flawlessly reciting poems without any signs of Tourette's. These patterns raised serious questions about the authenticity of her condition. Emerald decided to prove her diagnosis by recording a consultation with a specialist and uploading it to TikTok. However, even the diagnosis letter itself raised suspicions, as it contained errors and odd details that cast doubt on its authenticity. Was it a careless mistake from the doctor or a letter she wrote herself? Just when it seemed like the truth would remain hidden, Emerald's sister Jade came forward on Reddit and shared her side of the story. Jade revealed that Emerald had a history of fabricating stories and stretching the truth. She expressed her disbelief in Emerald's claimed Tourette's diagnosis, shedding light on her sister's deceitful nature. Under mounting pressure and public backlash, Emerald finally admitted to faking her Tourette's diagnosis. However, she defended her intentions, further fueling the anger and disappointment of the public. In response, Emerald deactivated her TikTok account and deleted all content from her Instagram page. The fallout from this revelation was intense. People demanded justice, starting petitions to have Emerald's TikTok account taken down and her merchandise removed. Affected individuals shared their personal experiences and expressed their disappointment, emphasizing that Tourette's is not a joke or a trend. Amidst the anger and disappointment, the Tourette's community came together. Influencers, activists, and individuals affected by Tourette's united to raise awareness and educate others about the realities of the condition. They turned this unfortunate incident into an opportunity to promote empathy and understanding, ensuring that the true experiences of those living with Tourette's were heard. This incident served as a wake-up call for the TikTok community, highlighting the importance of authenticity and integrity. It emphasized the need to respect the experiences of others, particularly when it comes to conditions like Tourette's. Moving forward, the community became more vigilant about verifying claims and supporting genuine voices, fostering a more supportive and educated online environment. The story leaves us with valuable lessons. It reminds us that authenticity matters and should be at the core of content creation. It also stresses the importance of respecting the experiences of others and not exploiting serious conditions for personal gain. Ultimately, this incident prompted a community-wide effort to rebuild trust, prioritize authenticity, and champion real stories in the online world.